between RTG and Zeddy. Instead of, maybe I should just go by Siudadu. It's a fun name. This is Power Bond, six o'clock location. We have RTG as the Yellow Terran, upper left hand corner. We have Zeddy as the Grey Zerg. I kind of like Grey Zerg. I don't know. Power Bond, one of these maps, again, I haven't seen in a long time. Uh, natural expansion here. Again, kind of a wide open natural. Uh, third base, which is not a mineral only, a little bit exposed, where you have kind of the ramp from that corner and kind of a wide open space here. And kind of a, a sometimes you'll see players skip this expansion and go for this base, if I recall. I haven't, again, I have to like, this is me channeling like, do I remember watching these matches? Um, remember, I think not out playing on some of these. I might be wrong in that. This is where I can't rely on my memory. Upper left hand corner, you have kind of this double ramp thing. 12 o'clock location, you have a mineral only. Uh, and then it's a three-player, uh, what's that word for it? Iso, it's not isometric, isolinear, something like that. Point being, yeah, and you got these cool kind of latent command centers in the, there's the command center in the middle of the map and kind of, you can see the cool feature on the mini-map. Point being, I don't think this is an active ladder map. Not an active ladder map, but it's one of those maps that, uh, yeah, creates a lot of interesting games. It's a large, you know what's kind of unusual is it's a large three-player map. It's a three-player map that has like a big distance between spawns, which is unusual. And in that way, it reminds me a little bit of Tau Cross. We are seeing once again uh, an overpool here for Zeddy. We'll see if he has more success here on map two. Um, I'm almost wondering if he's going to opt to not go Mutalisks, because again, I have to feel like between Peru and Germany, these guys are facing a, a lot of lag. Barracks being built for RTG, not actually sealing his front door. So a little bit of bravery, and actually also not building towards his his main, which suggests he might be being a little bit more aggressive to start. Scouting upper right-hand corner. It is a three-player map. Scouting upper right-hand corner first. Usually when you see three-player maps, they tend to be a little bit more close quarters. Power Bond has, first of all, a ton of minerals. But it's one of those few rare macro maps that's like, it's a big macro map, but it's not four player, it's still three player. Kind of special in that regard. We're seeing eight Zerglings being produced initially once again. Hatchery to follow. SCV Scout making its way to the upper left hand corner, which should be greeted by uh, those Zerglings. It looks like, I should also point out that Zeddy has been skipping that drone scout altogether and is more using his Overlord for initial scouting information and otherwise using his Zerglings to do it. Six Zerglings are making their way to the correct base, and this actually might be just a straight-up game because there was no front door block. This is one Marine, two Marines shortly, and some SCVs, so a lot of economic disruption is going to be happening early for Zeddy uh, right off the bat. Let's see if he can get any sort of blockade. No. Yeah, and so this is he's going to pay for not blocking that front door. SCVs pulling off the line. The Marines not able to get separation, so all the Marines down. SCVs are the only defense against these Zerglings. Three SCVs down already. The SCV is actually returning rather than fighting another Marine out, but the Zerglings right on top of that. A couple Zerglings have been taken care of, but more SCVs are falling. Still two Zerglings surviving, and they still might be able to swing around and do additional damage. So big economic hits early, plus all of the disrupted mining times of all the SCVs that have managed to pull out. And are more Zerglings going to make their way down? It looks like we have more reinforcements making their way. More Zerglings getting additional kills. It looks like the SCVs have managed to pin those Zerglings on the mineral line, but this is still a lack of mining time, and that was a lot of SCV losses, plus a huge lack of mining time. Still three SCVs blocking the ramp and two Marines right there, and this is not a situation you want to be in as a Terran player. Look, another SCV coming out. There's still just two Zerglings making their way across. It looks like they're going to go ahead and back off. If Zeddy actually just... Uh, so Zeddy might have just been able to win the game outright. It's going to go ahead and back off. Second barracks being produced. Game's not fully over yet, but RTG is in a terrible situation. All of that lost mining time, just now getting a second barracks up, only has three Marines on the ground, is still having to lose some mining time of these two SCVs uh, doing a blockade. I guess I'm not sure what the logic was behind the lack of blocking the ramp. Uh, we are seeing three hatch play comparatively and a layer as well. And I'm wondering if this is just going to be a transition into three hatch Zergling. We'll see if we see the drones pull off gas. Never mind. He's going up to Lair. Derp. Lair's a halfway finish. So probably I would expect Lurker, honestly, given game one. Creep Colony planting down because we do see the five Marines moving out. Killed a couple of those Zerglings along the way. That should be plenty. This plus the Zerglings uh, with a Creep Colony. And again, this is a huge distance map. Should be plenty. Another Zergling getting popped along the way. RTG actually is going to, with this pressure, this is dangerous. Okay, a little bit of a fake. I like that play. So RTG is like, okay, I'm going to move the Marines out because I 
suspect he, with that SCV, he saw that there weren't a, a lot of Zerglings or defenses on the ground. So he forces the, the Creep Colony, which is at least a small economic win, right? And uses that time and pressure to go ahead and get his command center up. Zergling speed is being upgraded. We do have that layer up and we have that spire as well. With all of that economic delay, the academy is up. I expect that engineering bay to be pretty late. And we'll see what RTG... And keep in mind that marine count is also a little bit lower than it would have been comparatively. Although he does have what looks like uh, kind of a full complement here. Getting that bunker, building it fairly close to that command center. So that might provide a little bit of support. But honestly, between a hand... Enough Zerglings and enough Mutalisks. Zeddy might be able to die, but he's going in on top of the bunker before that bunker's even filled, wiping out the rest of the Marines, and he's going to run right into the main. Wow. So Zeddy getting the run by, the Marines not blockading, actually working on the barracks, more SCVs pulling off the line, actually might be able to disrupt the Academy. The Academy is not finished as well. And actually working on that academy, backing off the rest of the Zerglings. But keep in mind, Mulisks are going to be on the way shortly. Zeddy looks like he is probably going to take game two. Probably going to take game two. Working on Stim right here, you need Stim against those Mutalisks. And the, the bunker actually empties, so these Zerglings might even be able to just run back out if they want to. But it looks like they're going to keep this Marine count low. So these Mutalisks are going to be even stronger. And honestly, as soon as the Mutalisks... I expect a GG from RTG. As soon as the Mutalisks make their way in the base, we do see six in production already. Oof. So nothing going right for RTG this game. Now bring some SCVs on the, on the line just to provide a little bit of a defensive blockade. Moving another SCV to scout just to see what he's up against comparatively. But he's up against eight Mutalisks that are becoming uh, going to be ru just ramming down his throat shortly. His engineering bay has just started. Which is, yeah, when the Mutalisks are already in production, if you're just starting your engineering bay, not a good situation. And I'm almost wondering, once he sees these Mutalisks in the air, if you just GG right there. No, okay, so he's going to try to fight it out. I don't know how he's going to fight this, honestly, because this is almost as many, yeah, this is as many Mutalisks as there are Marines on the ground. A couple uh, Mutalisks, uh, sorry, a couple Marines and Medics being produced. He can just straight up go into the mineral line, wait for this stim to fade, and re-engage once he has all of his Mutalisks grouped. Unfortunately, engaging with, with three right there. Yeah, still getting kills. There Now he's got the full five. More incoming. Some Zerglings waking their way up as well. And yeah, this is certainly going to be GG. Trying desperately to get a turret up, but when you have Zerglings on top of your barracks with everything else and more mules diving in, yeah, there's GG. There's GG. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Going to move on to game three. Each player has one game apiece.